the interaction between sound organized into language and sound organized into music, that relationship fascinates me and drives a lot of the music that I make. My name is Matthew O'Coin. I'm a composer and conductor. I write music, both orchestral music and operas, and I also conduct that music. One thing that opera can do, I think better than any other art form, is to express and represent, give voice to multiple psychological states at the same time. But through the power of music, when you layer vocal lines, you layer harmonies, you actually get a deeper sense of the whole psychology of the room. And that miraculous aerial perspective on human souls is something that I turn to opera for. My path has been kind of a sinuous one because I fell in love with classical music quite early through the usual crises of puberty, high school. I wandered away from it and played a lot of jazz and rock music and, and studied poetry. And having experimented a lot, I realized that actually notating music, writing it down, is liberating. My first opera, Crossing, is a kind of psychological portrait of Walt Whitman. What is it then between us? With an original libretto based on the diaries that Whitman kept while he was working as a volunteer nurse during the Civil War. And it's an attempt to paint a more nuanced, complex picture of a tortured guy who, in my opinion, transfigured his own sexuality, which he couldn't openly express, into this vision of America and this attempt to embody the American spirit. At the moment, I am working on a new opera called Eurydice, which I'm writing with the playwright Sarah Rule, uh, adapting her play. I'm also writing a bunch of instrumental pieces, a string quartet, a big, ambitious orchestral piece. Um, and I co-founded an ensemble called the American Modern Opera Company, which is a company of artists that work closely together, singers, instrumentalists, and dancers. Um, to create new work. I try to bring an exuberance to my music and, and my words. A willingness to be unselfconscious in the pursuit of joy is something that unifies my work. <laughs> <laughs>